As you can see, there's a lot of empty seats around me. But come opening day, April 9th, the Fresno Grizzlies are hoping to make a huge rise in attendance after all the new changes. Just a couple weeks ago, these trees on campus and many others around the city all had orange ribbons tied around them to represent Multiple Sclerosis Awareness Week. But that's not all that the MS Society is doing to ensure that the word gets spread about multiple sclerosis. Not only does Lauren make sure that his players get taught the proper techniques and mechanics of the game, but he makes sure that they also know that in the game of football and in life, it's much more than just simple X's and O's. With all the hard work that these students are putting in on a weekly basis, they're hoping that they'll restore the roof and some of the beauty back into the tea house. Today is opening day for the Fresno Grizzlies here at Chichanty Park, and everyone's excited to see how the new changes will affect this season. With a new manager, team affiliate, and new uniforms, the Grizzlies also have a new motto, California Republic. Hi, I'm Rodney Matthews with your sports update. Steve Kerr taking a page out of Greg Popovich's book by sitting his starters in the NBA regular season game. Splash brothers Stephen Curry and Klay Thompson aren't hurt. They're just resting their legs and getting ready for the playoffs. And Steph Curry getting Steph the DNP coach's decision. I mean, his replacement, just Justin Holiday, hits the three-pointer. Holiday with another three. This was his first career start. Can you believe that? More Holiday. He hits another three. Tonight was his game high 23 points, and of course, Curry and Thompson loving it. Warriors still lose 114 to 103. Dubs host Knicks tomorrow night, hence, hence the resting of most of the starters. Clovis West and Alamany battle in the SoCal Regional Playoffs tonight. CW put in the open division. First quarter, Sarah Bates for the three, and the Golden Eagles would shoot it a ton from behind the arc. Later, it's Bates finding Megan Anderson from downtown. Great crowd tonight pumping up the Eagles. Remember, there's a ton of sophomores on this team, but here junior Ashley Cross feeds Danae Marquez with another wide open three. Clovis West pulls it out and beats Bish Falamandy 53-50. They'll advance into the open division semifinals against top seed Chaminade. That'll be Tuesday on the road for Craig Campbell and the Golden Eagles. Sanger High School and the city of Parlier have come together to help Brianna Ramirez after she was shot in her right eye. Brianna is a dedicated softball player who has always dreamed of playing for Oregon State. The high school is now selling wristbands with all the proceeds going to the Ramirez family's medical expenses. Student body president Anthony Pimato explains why the town is so invested. Sanger's a, a unified town. Um, when, someone's in, when someone's in a crisis, when someone's hurt, we try to all stick together and help them as much as we can. As her medical bills continue to rise, Brianna Ramirez's fellow classmates are now joining her softball family to help fund her expenses. Head coach Erica Pennington started the fundraiser and has almost sold 3,000 of the wristbands. She is wonderful. She is um, just the hardest worker you have, um, intense all the time, and will give a smile and a high five to her best friend. And not only is she like a wonderful athlete and a person, but she has a 3.33 GPA. Fellow teammate Alexandra Lovett hopes the entire student body jumps on board. This doesn't not from the softball team, but for her family too. I mean, this is so important. Like, thank you so much for buying the bracelets. They mean a lot and it's gonna go for a great cause. It's hoped the bracelets will continue to sell with the proceeds providing a little relief for the Ramirez family. Rodney Matthews, ABC 30 Action News. Jacob Stitch Duran is known for taking care of fighters' cuts and taping their hands. He's one of the best in the business for both UFC and boxing. But the man working in a tough guy business showed his softer side in his homecoming. Oh, it's, it's quite overwhelming. I, uh, <laughs> Duran showed up in style, taking pictures with fans and signing autographs for his book. He says it was so important for him to be there that he even turned down a UFC event in Brazil. Uh, you know, and like my brother Benny says, is uh, we're going to make the whole San Joaquin envious of uh, the Planado Boxing Club. And uh, this is only the beginning. I'm, I'm, I'm dedicating my life to, to the boxing program here. The small town of Planada is buzzing right now over the excitement of a local celebrity coming back and his support of the new boxing program. School superintendent Jose Gonzalez says their goal for the night was to make $10,000. They already surpassed that before the doors even opened. Our office staff, our teaching staff, everyone's donated time. They see, they see the big picture, and to provide such an enriching opportunity for kids is uh, really mobilize everyone to jump in. 
The new gym will give kids the opportunity to grow as athletes and prevent them from getting into any trouble, hopefully. Because it, it not only develops, you know, your, your physical form, but a mental form. You know, you want to teach the kids that every time they fall, whether it be in the ring or in society, that they can always get back up. Stitch is currently working on a new Rocky movie and brought with him a glove signed by the entire cast, including Sylvester Stallone. He promises on his next trip home, he'll be bringing friends along with him. Not only am I going to come back, I'm going to be bringing some pretty noticeable people that are going to be recognizable and people are going to say, oh, these guys came to Planada. The long-term goal is to keep kids in Planada in the ring and off the streets. Rodney Matthews, ABC 30 Action News. <laughs> Lauren Bell is a proud bulldog who is an active leader in the Fresno Clovis area. Among the multiple groups he leads, there is always one constant theme, keep Christ first. One of the groups Lauren leads is Fresno State's Fellowship of Christian Athletes. Fresno State swimmer Haley Baldwin talks about what FCA is all about. It's just a great way as athletes to remember why we're here and who we're really working towards and who we should honor in our sports and with school and in life. Whether it's picking off Colin Kaepernick or even making a big hit, Lauren says he likes his style of play to translate into the way he coaches his players by making sure that sportsmanship and teamwork are core values, but Christ always comes before anything else. Not only does Lauren make sure that his players get taught the proper techniques and mechanics of the game, but he makes sure that they also know that in the game of football and in life, it's much more than just simple X's and O's. In total, Lauren leads FCA, a coach's Bible study group, coaches middle school football at Clark Intermediate and still makes sure that he's a loving father and husband. Matt Brown attends both his FCA and Bible study group and discusses what attracts people to Lauren. People are drawn to, to a person like him uh, because he's real and he's honest. Uh, he's, he's a person that uh, just has such great integrity. Lauren ensures that he focuses on the spiritual growth of the kids before any victories come in play. Treat these kids right and put them first and uh, make sure that we are transformational coaches and not transactional coaches. We're just trying to get stuff out of our kids. We're really trying to have an impact on their lives. Lauren definitely is making an impact on their lives, and one thing is certain, Lauren Bell will forever be Bulldog born, Bulldog bred.